gadget show, and we did see a lot of crap gadgets, but that's got to be top of the list. Look, you can. For who? Paul, anyone in the audience want that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> they put on the, the, on the bread doesn't go in with the bleed. Oh, this time. <laughs> people who think they're more important than they are just because they wear a uniform. Uh, Not the village people. No, no. Themselves. <laughs> and it, kind of going back to supermarkets, actually, because my hatred of kind of like the bouncer syndrome is what I call it. Um, started in a supermarket. My boyfriend, who was 26, I was 23, my little brother was 21, and we were buying a new law coming in, so we need all of your group to have ID. At 26, he had his, and my brother, who was 21, six foot tall, covered in tattoos, looks old enough, didn't have any ID. So they said, well, we're not serving you. Because I got so annoyed about it, my family and friends started sending me these stories from the papers of, like, similar things that had happened. So, um, there was another supermarket where a grandma was refused knitting needles because she didn't have ID. <laughs> there was another old lady, apparently in this like certain town, there was a spate of lemon-related crime. <laughs> and this woman was trying to buy a bag of lemons. Lemon. Lemons. And she was trying to buy a bag, but they had a two-lemon limit. <laughs> buy lemons. Um, there was another thing with um, uh, spoons. Someone couldn't buy spoons because they didn't have any ID because it's drug-related paraphernalia. I don't know how old you have to be to uh, just kind of have a trumped up sense of power because mm. they're in they're not in a position of power. Like, I think uniforms should be, you know, people who are respected like police and fire people and you know, they've got power. Oh listen, authority. if you give somebody an armband. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, my wild card is the from South End, born and bred Essex girl. Thank you. Um, somewhere like Cuba, I met a Cana Canadian group of guys, and even they'd heard of the Essex girl stereotype. Wow. So they kind of, oh yeah, Essex, yeah, we've heard about you. And it kind of died off for a while, and then obviously with things like The Only Way is Essex, it's kind of back mm. with a vengeance. Um, and I know especially it annoys my friends, because Essex has got some of the best schools in the country, um, but they think that we all talk like The Only Way is Essex, and people say to me, oh, you've lost your accent. I was like, well, I haven't lost my accent at all, but this is what normal people from Essex sound like. And we're not all covered in fake tan and peroxide blonde and obsessed with that and shopping and nails and that's the only thing we do. Okay. And I was on a show where we, and he got his card and he said, right. Really genuine, that's what they are and they're yes. not ashamed and that's, I, I like a lot of them. And, and Joey Essex, I met him and, and um, he thought that Richard and Judy created the world. <laughs> he, he got confused with Adam and Eve. <laughs> <laughs>